what's up guys in this video i'll show you how to do this overgrowth effect using procedural content generation in unreal engine 5.2 so we'll take a look at how to procedurally generate this overgrowth effect and you can see in here i'm actually using few of the nodes so you can get started very easily from scratch and we can control the amount of overgrowth just using few nodes so to get started, let's jump into Unreal Engine 5.2. All right, to get started, what we'll do is we'll go to the 5.2.1 and launch that. Um, after that is launch. Then we'll select the third person template and then uh, you can give a name, whatever you prefer to use in there. And yeah, just uh, create a new project and then yeah, it should launch the Unreal Engine. We have this basic Unreal Engine that we can run around and do stuff. Uh, very basic third person template that we have in here. Um, only thing we need to do is we'll need to go to edit plugin and then type procedural content. And then you should be able to see that procedural content generation framework. Make sure that it's checked. And then it might ask you to restart your uh, Unreal Engine. Go ahead and restart the Unreal Engine. Once that is done, then what I will do next is actually um, go ahead and create a new level. So I'll go to the basics and then start a fresh level. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and click on the add content. And within here, the from the Quixel, I'll go ahead and download uh, maybe a 3D wall or something. So it's up to you. You can download anything from here. You can bring your own Sketchfab model, whatever you prefer. But for me, I've, I think I've already downloaded a 3D asset in here. So I'll go ahead and select one of these modular stone wall. And then I'll go ahead and just add to the project. And once that is done, another thing I need is also some sort of overgrowth plant. So I think I've already downloaded before as I was prepping up for this tutorial. Um, and you can download any uh, plant that you can find in here um, as long as it is small plant so I think it was called yellow artangel so I downloaded that and then basically added to my project and once that is done uh, you should be able to see in your content browser there's 3d assets they are like the the stone wall and also the plant so only thing we need to do next is to go ahead and drag the stone wall and make sure you are in uh, the reset the position to 000 in the scale so that it's easy for you to work later when we add in the PCG um, graph in here so next we'll create a PCG graph so go to uh, right click and then type PCG and PCG graph I'll rename it to the PCG underscore maybe a growth um, this is pretty much the basic PCG that we have looked uh, earlier in this channel as well. Make sure to actually check out that video as well. But you can still follow even if you didn't know anything about PCG previously. But the general idea is using some nodes to actually spawn the items. But for this purpose, we'll actually use mesh to points. So we'll uh, use this, but the only thing we need to do is in the blueprint type, we need to actually use uh, mesh to point. Uh, so we'll select that as our blueprint type. Once that is done, then what we need to do is actually grab a reference to our static mesh on which we want overgrowth. So this is the stone, um, the wall. So I'm just checking to make sure the name of the asset is correct. And then that's what I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select that in my static mesh and then I will get a reference to that static mesh in here for the mesh to point. Um, once that is done then uh, what I can do is I can go ahead and apply that PCZ graph. I'll go ahead and drag my PCZ graph but I'll make sure the PCZ graph is actually reset to 000 as a position so that it is applying to the at the same place where my wall is. And then I can go ahead and right click and do debug and you can see there are lots of points in here that I can visualize it. Um, 
yeah, uh, these are all the points of the mesh. Um, I think right now it might be from the triangle mode, uh, which I will talk about later as well. But for, to actually for the points, let's do a scale method to relative. Um, and then what I can do is maybe for that, uh, you can see that it's a lot of points uh, because it's the size of the point is 1.0. So I'll probably go ahead and change it to 0 0.01 or 0 0.002, depending on what you see. Maybe 0 .00, uh, 0 0.001 might be too less to see. So let's go ahead and do 0 0.001 and we can see a lot of points in here. And yeah, we, we can basically visualize all the points on which we can populate the items. And another thing is um, the on the uh, PCZ here, we can actually check to see if there is point R from vertices or from the triangles. But I found that the triangle uh, is better than the vertices. From mesh to point, then we'll do a static mesh spawner. And uh, you know the deal, we just have to put in the static mesh. I'll go ahead and add the static mesh reference for this. I'll just put on a plant. And then I plan on using the two plants so that we have a variation of the uh, overgrowth. Um, so I'll get a reference to the another plant so there are different variations of the plant and then I'll just type in plant and search in here and then after that is done you should be able to see that we have a lot of growth within the wall which is kind of cool right uh, we don't have to place it manually it procedurally places itself in the wall itself which is pretty nice and as you can see um, right now it might be too much um, so if we want to change what we can use is another thing called density filter and using this density filter the idea is to filter out the amount of growth but density filter by itself doesn't do any change um, even though i will try to move my uh, the density filter it doesn't do anything actually um, for that because you need to convert the from normal to density uh, which I also hear shortly as well um, as you can see I'm trying to change the uh, growth and stuff um, of course it will either go from not having anything to having it completely there's nothing like change in variation that we can do at the moment and I'm still playing here to show you that it doesn't do anything. Now for that, what I will do is go ahead and add a node called um, normal to density. And once that is done, we should be able to see some variations with the density filter. So the only thing we had to do was add that. And now right over here, you can see that there is some change. And the wall doesn't have completely filled with the uh, leaves or if you think of it as a marsh overgrowth so not all parts of the wall is completely filled now i can show here using the few nodes we can actually change how it grows you know uh, on the wall itself you can see i'm changing and the parameters and it is affecting the amount by which it is growing on the wall also another thing um, what we can do is add the transformation uh, transformation points uh, transform points node uh, just so that we can actually change the shape and variation of the node uh, sorry of the overgrowth itself so I'm changing the size uh, you know from 0.2 to 1 and then maybe angle from 0 to 180 degrees and you can see that um, it will change it will give some randomness basically to our overgrowth so more control in terms of what you want to create 
yeah and this is about it you just need few five six or seven notes and you can create what you want hopefully this was helpful to you um, leave me a comment or concerns or anything you have for me uh, if not uh, subscribe to my channel and watch out for uh, further videos till then stay cool and keep learning <laughs>